Well, that's it. This is it. We're gonna hopefully get in. God, where are we? All seems in order with the lens, and I trust you can hear me. Where are we? Those things are pure malcontent, the residue of lives unfulfilled. I think it's the first point for everyone there. You know what I forgot to look at? I looked at I looked away when they showed off the um video for the area. Striking ri seeking rivalry. Cynical. Cynical. Fire. Go, oh, Braid. That's your Braid. Arrogance. A rush to prepare your mind is the next one. Is that? Is that? That? Papuino? Let me air! Could not take this for me. Never will I surrender my devotion to my love. Oh, it's um. 
Yep, it's her. You fought her when, um... Oh. Where am I painted? Actually, uh... Uh-oh. Okay. She was, um... Uh, she's the one you fight in, um, Castrum. A Praetorium, but... The one before that in Realm Reborn. At the end. The one obsessed with Gaius. Wow, we actually get a real fight again there, not some boring ass. Well, they did say that you might fend up fighting past enemies, like the painting suffering of the past, of those who once lived, who might find you and be like, yeah, it's time for revenge. That's why I was thinking, it's like, did we see Papa Lima here? Or Mia more so, others? And I think we saw him. I think he caught, I think he just helped us back there against Ilbrid. I love that Phantom Rush. So good. My lord, guys. Follow the flow of ether. It will guide you. What? Oh. The ether is too dense. Oh, I'm losing you. Can't reach him. What is that? In a rush to fill your in the memory of a Baya Archon. Missing the allure. It was an axe. Was that what's his name? Knight's memory. <gasps> yes.
There we go. And there it is. No, thank you. Uh oh. Has my life belonged to the Empire in death? Oh god! Wait. Is that? Oh, uh, yeah, that way. Walk with the Cape Westport. Dungeon mode, apparently. Gonna make it interesting work. I must. We will fall to Tartarus. Okay. Crumble before. version oh my god the trial would have been amazing if this was the case I should really rework his trial it's eight man the ra yeah the hits eight man raid trial Cape Westward we Cape West what is uh word when it really needs to be redone to be better God, this is amazing. Let's to the dungeon. Again, I failed. Yeah, you did, sadly. A bit so plain. Whee! So static. What the? I never did check. Four thirty. Mm
Bit Zion King, Bit Zion King. But feel your spirit! Well, at least she's not telling us pray we return to the waking sands. Did she? Down a little bit. I will admit, um, Summoner looks aesthetically pleasing. I've seen the attacks and abilities and it's like, oh, that's beautiful. I will give it that one. But a lot of people are just, I, I've heard some people say that it's boring though. That it's become like super boring. Amon. Sundered soul. Amon the undying. Many faces have I worn, but this is my favorite by far. Why do you think I moved to the side? I'd rather watch mechanics than attack. Cause if you don't careful, you'll die. I don't have anything. Let the curtains rise for the main attraction. Bracing Wayne leaps from the pages of memory. What is happening? Shiva! I thought it was. I really thought for a moment it was um, Hades, but then I realized it's worse. Then again, I would have. I would have liked to fight Hades again. Yeah. 
This guy really doesn't accept death very well. Watch them. Watch them. Nope. Very good. Let's see the timer. There we go. That was. Yeah, this is my favorite dungeon now. Lies. Oh, lies. Your dreams. Your hopes. Your futures. Delusions and lies. Oh my goodness. Oh, we didn't get anything out of it though. Quite disappointing. Yeah, it's 48. I noticed Alice, I said he's not gone. Hmm. Yup. That's why he calls himself undone. Yeah. Oh. My very essence begins to wane. Sweet, sweet agony. Leave this to him. Come to deal the coup de gras. Good. <laughs> Watching you struggle against the inevitable is bad comedy. Erase me from existence, soul and all. <clears throat> you recall your days as burnt. How would you know that name?
<laughs> then it was you, the Elpis, but them it sucked. <laughs> the final pieces fall into place. <laughs> Wait, are you... In my halcyon days, as the mortal Amon, I was haunted by a dream. Night after night, the faceless multitude, the voiceless cries, shards of shattered memories. But slowly, the fog began to clear. This was Alpis. And I, I was Hermes. Recurring though it was, I paid this dream little heed. It was only when I was granted the seat and memories of Fan Daniel, that I knew these visions to be true. They were the memories of Hermes that he himself erased using the power of Kairos. You remember. Or so he thought. In his attempt to burn away the events of that fateful day, he succeeded only in searing them more deeply into his soul. My soul. Death failed to expunge them. No matter how many times it came. Rebirth after rebirth, from one Van Daniel to the next. I wonder, is Emmet Selk adrift somewhere in this ethereal sea? In defeat, finally remembering your time together in Elpis. I remember now. They did say, in um, Emmet Selk and Hydaris did say that wonder should they wondered should um they ever die and end up in the Ethereal Sea? Would their memories, would the memories of those moments return? That were erased. But they truly remember what was lost. How it must gall him to be entrusted with knowledge of the final days, only to be rendered powerless to act upon it. So many lifetimes dedicated to restoring his beloved Amaroth in blissful ignorance. Oh. But make no mistake, my life as Hermes is not the reason I invited the world's end. I have lived. I have struggled. I have dredged the very depths of despair. And in the detritus of existence, I found the truth. I served a great ruler, powerful beyond measure. The world, his dominion. Yet even he and his vast empire were destined to fall. To become one with oblivion. At the end of life's journey lies only death. So I ask you, why live at all? We betray, we torment, we murder. We are wicked, spiteful creatures, without exception. If life is so sacred, so precious, why fill it with such misery? Man wallows in a hell of his own making without purpose or meaning. To live is to suffer, and I would end that suffering by my own hand. 
It matters not if it flies in the face of all believed right and just. Death is the only solution! That is my truth, my answer to the question, and yet, even as the words pass my lips, I am filled with doubt, as my search reached its end. Was this the only way? After all these years... Is this the answer I was hoping for? The lamentations of the damned. How it vexes me to see your conviction falter at the last. Van Damme, still clinging to existence, I see. Am I? You, you, who champion death so fervently, unwilling to accept your own, refusing to be purified and swept into the sea of souls. As do I. We prisoners to men, watching as the world turns. Though unlike me, you will be spared the ignorance of having your corpse made a puppet, dancing to another's tune. Is that Arsahi? Oh boy, here we go. How very astute. But let me be clear, I have not come to consort with the likes of you. You're dead, you're irrelevant. Nor have I come to bemoan the state of the world following my untimely demise. In fact, I delight in mankind's downfall and the anguish it brings the savior of the savages. If I played some small part in the chaos, all the better. Not that I was in any position to resist. But to be made accomplice to the betrayal of Lord Xenos. Oh yeah, you were obsessed with him. You were in love I with the guy. I would die a thousand deaths to exact my vengeance. <laughs> now you are at my mercy. I shall drag us both into oblivion, and you will never see the fulfillment of your magnum opus, even should you be reborn. Your desperate search for answers must start again. What? Even here. Even now, you have every right to hate me, for the fool I was, for the monster I became. But I will not beg forgiveness. The tale of Hermes, the man who knew so much, yet understood so little, ends here. Don't try to follow me. I had more of you people than I could stomach in life. Never mind in death. Likewise, I pray we do not meet again. <laughs> you had better hope not.
That was not what I was expecting to happen. Come. Hydaelyn is waiting. I did not expect to see how- I didn't expect it to play out like that. That's the thing. Meet again, the gnat. I see thou didst journey unto Alpis, and now the rivers of time converge. Time to keep your promise, whatever that was. I Kinda know why you have come. Yet I would hear you speak your reasons all the same. You created the moon to deliver mankind from the final days. But is that really how it has to end? We do not wish to abandon this world. We want to protect the source and all of its shards. To flee is but one of two paths. The other leadeth to Meteon, far beyond the stars, where she doth chant creation's requiem. It was a choice. Run or fight. Dynamis, pure. Absolute. Where emotion and memory govern all, ether will avail you naught. Meteon hath gathered the pain and despair of countless stars, and to go unprepared is to go unto your doom. We'll beat her. We'll win. I swear it. Those are bold words to say to her. Once. After everything I've seen, all the times I've succumbed to my own anger and fear. I can no longer pretend that courage and faith will be enough. But are we truly so powerless that our only choice is to flee? Far from it, my child. Long ago, the inhabitants of myriad stars, many more prosperous than Atheris, sought to free their worlds from life's woes. Sorrow and anger, conflict and hostility, despair, and even death itself. But as Meteon reported, every attempt ended in failure. Darkness abideth within every living being and can never be cast out. Oh, you gotta learn to live with it. Neither reason um, nor faith can challenge this immutable truth. To live is to suffer. And in suffering, find strength and purpose. And hope. As you have done so many times before. Thou dost pursue an impossible dream. Yet knowing this, you pursue it nevertheless. 
and thou hast learned to depend on others as they do thee. Thy yearning for the power to save the powerless hath ever driven thee to greater heights. Thou hast grown strong. Though those closest to thee no longer walketh by thy side, their love remaineth thy guiding light. For duty's sake, thou hast been bound by truths unutterable time and time again. Yet thy heart hath never wavered, as thy companions will attest. In thy pursuit of mysteries great, all thou believest is brought into question. Undaunted, thy thirst for knowledge remaineth unquenched. The fires of hatred that once burned in thy heart burneth no more. From their ashes doth spring the light of love, warm and pure. As witness to black calamity, thou despaired at man's helplessness. Resolved, thou didst unite a distant world on the brink of collapse. And thou, my champion, when all did seem lost, thou never abandoned hope. For every trial and every foe that did bar thy way, thou hast proven equal to the challenge, drawing courage from the many bonds forged on thy journey. You have all known despair, and though the end approaches, you walk on, heads held high. Therein lieth your power the strength to silence the song of oblivion. Then there is a means to confront her. She just told you. Yes, if you should prove yourselves worthy. Uh-oh. Hark! No, here we go again. <laughs> You and these trials of combat for <laughs> it's just like Nigh yourself. impossible is it to send mortals to the edge of the universe. Should you fail, there will be no second chance. As the will of the star, I ask of you this. Do you possess the fortitude? To stand firm when all around you doth crumble. Do you possess the faith to vanquish despair itself? Should you lack the strength to best a supreme deity, I cannot allow you to make the journey. Oh. You must leave this star and never return. Prepare yourselves. Yeah, this is this is just her wanting to fight. Ourselves worthy, Sounds straightforward enough. I no room for confusion there. In any case, we've come too far to back down now. I am of the same mind. What power I have, I shall bring to bear. The three of you seem to be forgetting who we're up against. It's not every day we battle a divine being of untold power. Well, not quite every day. Do try not to get underfoot. Needless to say, there'll be no margin for error. Let us hold nothing back for the people of this world and those beyond the rift. Alas, the 
question I posed to thee in Elpis hath remained unanswered these long years. I would hear thy response, warrior of light, shouldst thou emerge victorious. You remind me of the question again. <laughs> I kind of forgot it. It's just so much information going through my head because of all this. And it's like, during this quest and when using the trust system scenario mode, you had the opportunity to detect the, undertake this trial with a party of Scion. Some of these items roles will differ from those you are normally able to select. Additionally, you may now enter the outer scope with a party of NPC avatars. <laughs> it is eight. I hate to say it, but I'm gonna have to take I have to take the scions with me. I'm afraid this is their our story their story in a way. 